Hello students. Hi everyone. Today we are going to learn case 2 problem from RH stability criterion. Now the problem is determine the stability of the following characteristic equation where the characteristic equation is equal to s to the power of 5 plus s to the power of 4 plus 2s cube plus 2s square plus 3s plus 5 is equal to 0. Now, to find the stability of this characteristic equation, we need to form the Routes array. Okay. <coughs> now, here I am going to write the series of the order of the characteristic equation here which is the highest order s to the power of 5 is the highest order okay so now I am going to start from the s to the power of 5 then s to the power of 4 then s cube then s square s to the power of 1 s to the power of 0 okay now I have to calculate each and every row elements okay now first row elements to calculate the first row elements here which is the highest order s to the power of 5 and coefficient of that term is 1 okay so next we need to jump to the alternative term here the alternative term is 2s cube here the coefficient is 2 now the next alternating term is alternative term is 3s here the coefficient is 3 there is no alternative term to this 3 years therefore I am writing here 0 now to find next row elements also we observe the characteristic equation here the next order next highest order of this characteristic equation is s to the power of 4 here the coefficient of that s to the power of 4 is also 1 now the alternative term is here the alternate term is 2s square here the coefficient is 2 next alternative term is constant 5 here there is no alternative term to this constant therefore I am writing here 0 now to calculate this row elements s cube row elements we need to follow the rules for rules of rh criteria okay now here to calculate this first element in the third row here we need to calculate and cross multiply this 1 into 2 therefore here 1 into 2 minus minus this 1 into 2 okay 1 into 2 whole divided by this element 1 here what is the answer we get 2 minus 2 whole divided by 1 is equal to 0 okay so here we will get 0 now now to get this element this element into this element into this means 1 into 3 minus this element 1 into 5 1 into 5 whole divided by this element same element 1 is equal to 3 minus 5 divided by 1 is equal to minus 2 so here I am going to write minus 2 now here 1 into 0 0 minus 1 into 0 0 so therefore we get here 0 now to calculate this element here see here whenever we get in this condition whenever we get 0 in the 0 in the first column then we need to replace this 0 with epsilon to continue this problem otherwise we cannot continue this problem without writing without writing in the place of 0 epsilon okay so now again here as usual this into this 2 epsilon epsilon into 2 2 epsilon 2 epsilon 
minus 1 into minus 2, minus 2. Whole divided by, which is the element here? Epsilon is there. We should not take here 0. If we take 0, we will get infinity. So that's why we are taking here in epsilon is equal to 2 epsilon plus 2 by epsilon. Okay. So here we will get 2 epsilon plus 2 whole divided by epsilon. Okay. This element and this element is over now. Now to find this element this into this into this that means 5 epsilon minus this 1 into 0 0 whole divided by epsilon that is equal to 5 epsilon divided by epsilon 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 gets cancelled it means 5 here 5 we get now here as is well there are no elements here no directly we can write 0 to calculate this element now this into <coughs> this okay 2 epsilon 2 epsilon plus 2 whole divided by epsilon into minus 2 okay this term is over next this term okay here minus 5 epsilon whole divided by which element we need to write we have to write 2 epsilon plus 2 divided by epsilon 2 epsilon plus 2 divided by epsilon that is equal to simplifying this equation we get minus minus 2 minus 2 into this term now so minus 4 epsilon minus 4 divided by epsilon minus 5 epsilon whole divided by whole divided by 2 epsilon plus 2 by epsilon again by simplifying this equation we will get by, by cross multiplying this minus 4 epsilon minus 4 minus 5 epsilon square divided by epsilon whole divided by 2 epsilon plus 2 by epsilon here this and this gets cancelled. It remains minus 4 epsilon minus 4 minus 5 epsilon square divided by 2 epsilon plus 2. Okay. This term I am going to write here. Minus 4 epsilon minus 4 minus 5 epsilon square divided by 2 epsilon plus 2 okay after that we need to calculate this into this okay this into this 0 okay and again this into this becomes 0 therefore we get here 0 and 0 now to calculate this element s to the power of 0 element <coughs> we need to cross multiply this term into 5 okay so here minus 4 epsilon minus 4 minus 5 epsilon square divided by 2 epsilon plus 2 into 5 minus this into this minus 0 whole divided by whole divided by which element we have to write this entire term okay this entire term we have to write in the denominator minus 4 epsilon minus 4 minus 5 epsilon square whole divided by 2 epsilon plus 2 okay so here this term and this term gets cancelled now it remains 5 okay so now here in the array we are going to write last element is 5 after that as usual zeros okay so now we completed to find all the elements in the RH array. Now we have to find the stability of the system. Okay. Whether this system is stable or not. Okay. Now see here in the case 2 condition here in the first column of the RH array 
we are getting 0. Okay, in the first column, whenever we get 0, then itself we can say the system is unstable. Therefore, here the system is, system is, unstable okay but even we know zero has occurred zero is there in the first column here we need to calculate how many number of poles are located on rhs plane okay so here the number of how many number of poles total number of poles in this system here based on the highest order we can say the number of poles total number of poles in the system here uh, in the characteristic equation highest order is 5 therefore total number of poles total number of poles equal to 5 now among these five poles, how many number of, we have to calculate how many number of poles are located on LHS plane and how many number of poles are located on RHS plane. Based on, based on pole zero diagram or S plane, here S plane, we all know very well that this is S plane no and it is RHS plane and it is LHS plane. According to stability, stability theorem, all the poles must be located on RHS plane. But here, based on this RHS criterion, here by seeing the first column and based on sign changes, see here, the sign changes, we will find the sign changes now. Here, in the for the first element, here the sign change, there is no sign change now here, directly we can write plus because no sign here, negative sign is not there, Di directly we can write here, if there is no negative sign, directly we can write here plus and here also no negative sign, here also plus, here also plus, here also plus, here here negative sign is there. If we take negative sign out from this term, then we get negative term it is, therefore it is negative and here it is positive. Now, based on this, we can find the number of sign changes. See here, from the plus to plus, there is no sign change. Plus to plus, there is no sign change. Plus to plus, again, there is no sign change. But here, plus to minus, there is sign change. So here, one sign change. Now, again, minus to plus, it has changed from minus to plus. Therefore, here again, one more sign change is there. Okay, so totally how many sign changes? Two. Two sign changes are there. Therefore, here number of sign changes, number of sign changes equal to two. So, based upon this sign changes, we can say that the two two poles are located on RHS plane. Because of this, system became unstable. If all the poles and remaining poles Remaining poles are located on RHS, LHS plane. Okay, so sign changes represents the how many how many number of poles are located on RHS plane. Okay, and uh, remaining poles we can write we can write those are located on LHS plane. But uh, according to the stability theorem, all the poles these two poles also must be located on LHS plane to become the system stable. But here here by calculating this rows array we find that the number of sign changes based upon that number of sign changes we can say whether the system is stable or not here the system is unstable because two sign changes are there and two poles are located on rhs plane therefore the system became unstable and here in this case in this case especially we can say that whenever zero comes in the first column then itself we can say the unstable okay so finally our conclusion is the system is unstable here this is unstable area and this area is stable okay but here because of these poles located on on his plane the system became unstable okay now the system is unstable.
थैंक यू